Hi everyone, welcome to our channel, Hello to Spain. Today we are in a four bedroom townhouse in the old town centre of Oliva. In walking distance to um, bars, restaurants and some shops. This is um, the entrance, this is the main door. A proper wooden Valencian door that you could open to have some light and some air as well. So this is the ground floor accommodation, as you'll see it's a self-contained accommodation, ideal for friends and family, um, or even for rental if you want it, as uh, the property's got a license. So we have pretty um, barrel ceilings, ceiling lights and fan, we also have some wall lights, air conditioning units. Then we have the kitchen, where we have a freestanding cooker, fridge, We've got some units. Then we also have um, a, an electric hot water cylinder. Um, this is some natural light coming in. This is uh, like a light well. Um, okay, you can see the whole room from here. Plenty of carrots there. Um, then we have the bedroom, which is a double, with a fringe standing wardrobe, ceiling fan and lighting, and we have a window as well. So let's go on and have a look at the shower room. Shower room, as you can hear, it's got an extractor, walk and shower, WC and wash basin, some shelving. Mm -hmm. Okay. So let's go and have a look at the first floor accommodation. As you can see, we've got double opening doors that could be locked separately if you were uh, doing any rentals or anything. Then we have a window to the front elevation and a staircase with railing to the first floor. This would be the doorway. We've got a door as well. Uh, as I said, you could actually lock it separately if you were renting downstairs. Immediately to the right, we have a double bedroom. It's also a double. Very light, as you can see. Ceiling fan and lighting. Air conditioning unit. And we have a built-in wardrobe. Then we have a hallway leading to the rest of the accommodation. And another little bedroom here, which is the smallest bedroom. It's a single bedroom. We also have ceiling fan and lighting, freestanding wardrobe, and then we have a little window. This is actually the window that goes down to the kitchen downstairs, and this actually is covered, but could be open or put different sort of like material if you wanted. Then here we find the bathroom with a separate shower. Got the bath. Got that window, an electric heater, another window here. Let me step back and show you the whole thing.
Again, this goes to that light well, going down to the kitchen downstairs. And behind this door, you have another bedroom. I'll show you now. So you can access the this bathroom from the hallway or from the main bedroom up here. This is the bedroom. Double with window. Ceiling fan and lighting. Freestanding wardrobe. And the door to the bathroom. Then we have a door to this fantastic open plan kitchen lounge dining room. Got inset spotlights, beautiful kitchen, plenty of work, work surface, dishwasher, gas hob, oven, structure. Got plumbing there for the washing machine. Um, there's also plumbing for the washing machine upstairs on the roof terrace. We've got the sink with mixer tap over. As you can see, plenty of work surface. Beautiful kitchen. Then we have the wood burner. It's a very good size wood burner. And we have also an aircon. Let me just show you the room from here because it's very spacious. Beautiful. Then we have here another little terrace and the plunge pool. From here we have an outdoor shower there. Space out here for table and chairs if you want it, or even a little like a sun loungers could also uh, also fit in there. Plunge pool is ideal to just you know during the hot summer days just to pop in. Um. Okay. So here we have. The staircase, we came this way from the ground floor. Gorgeous terrace, plenty of space for entertaining. If you want it, like um, a little fridge out here, the sockets. Well, as you can see, there's another washing machine. fantastic and the views are gorgeous what you can see there in the background that's the sea Santa Maria Church and Sun Rock Church and then there you can see what's left from the castle yeah so that you've got also this covered area as you'll need some shade in summer and you've got um, sun most of the day winter sun as well as I said we you can walk from here to some bars restaurants shops and uh, it's not far from the main Paseo where you have a weekly market. Um, you can walk even down to the beach as it's about um, a couple of kilometers, about 20 to 30 minutes, you could be down at the beach. And there's, a, a, there's a, also a bus service from the Paseo down to the beach um, all year round. Thank you for watching.